All right, let's get a check on what's um, happening in the crypto market. Now, if you look at the screen, it's red on the screen and just a little green, you know, at this point. So we're seeing massive pullbacks there um, in the crypto market. Bitcoin um, losing that 70 level, 68,000. Multi is down 0.01% this afternoon. Ethereum, though, that's lost that $4,000 um, level. BNB, $569. Just a couple of green. Um, pockets there. Solana, a major, a major one holding up in the green in this red market that we see. Let's look at the sentiment now. Let's see what the fear greed index has here. Still, uh, still a greedy market though, but less than what we what we used to. 77 points of 100 at this time. Let's look at the top two cryptocurrencies that we track. We we'll see Bitcoin 0.01 percent down. Um, Cardano 67 cents. 0.70%. So it was a wild weekend uh, for most of these coins. We saw big drops in 24 hours, double digit drops, 15%, 10%, about 20% drops uh, with most of these coins, even though we've seen big gains you know, at this time. Let's bring in our roommate, Ofi, now, financial market analyst. Hello, roommate. Great to have you. Hello, roommate. Good afternoon, Ladi. Good afternoon. Good yeah. afternoon, Ladi. Uh, Good quite, afternoon, Ladi. Yeah, quite a, quite a bumper weekend there we had for the crypto market. Most of those gains are being eroded, you know, right now. And the halving is really close. Is this the um, pre-halving uh, sell-off, like the sell-the-news kind of uh, market we're seeing? Yeah, the pre-halving sell-off hasn't started yet. Uh, what is going on now is uh, more like uh, the market sensing that uh, we're not going to have anything like a rate cut anytime soon. Uh, so the market responding to that and the risk asset most likely is going to be hit. So more like saying that uh, there's a correctional phase. We've seen Bitcoin do very well, cryptocurrencies do very well. We see all of the memes going up at some point and uh, making very good gains. But again, one of the reasons why some of us are saying that uh, we have to be very careful. It's a risky asset, and the uh, best you could do is not to use funds that are very important for you to to get it involved. Right now, the world today has a lot to battle with. It's a geopolitical crisis. U.S. Uh, elections is here. Certainties in the, who becomes the next president of the United States with their various policies, and uh, also uh, the Bank of Japan. Uh, most likely going to high rate, which is also uh, part of the part of the narrative that uh, we are having right about now. You know, so it's it's a very difficult situation that we find ourselves in the crypto market. It's a, it's a, it's a very difficult situation we find ourselves in the crypto market. But be it as it may, I believe that there's going to be there's always going to be uh, uh, the green light at the end of the tunnel. But for now. Uh, it's a good time to take profit and uh, and watch. Uh, this is a good time to take profit and watch rather than go all in and, uh, and get into trouble. So it doesn't become a freight uh, train coming from, you know, from the end of the tunnel and <laughs> not just the, not the lights you know, you're looking for. But you know, right here in Nigeria, we've, we've had the issue with most of these um, cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, but we see the, the fee... Um, that a crypto exchange is supposed to pay for the license um, to be able to operate in Nigeria. We see that's been hiked up um, a lot. What do you, how do you see this impacting you know, some crypto, uh, cryptocurrency exchanges that want to come and establish in Nigeria? So, Larry, my, my, my concern is, uh, uh, is more for local exchange, local platforms. Uh, I really don't care about the international platform because... You know that a couple of them had made money. A couple of them has uh, made money, and you know I don't want to mention names and government is slamming them and they have issues that are unsettled. So I would like to focus on the, the local platforms. Uh, the couple of them are here, and uh, with the fact that these international guys are here, they have actually subdued them to some reasonable uh, way. So uh, it is not the price of the licensing and all of these things. I'm not encouraging for the local platforms, and it, it doesn't it doesn't help our ecosystem. It's more like saying that, well, like we have banks, this uh, our banking sector where we have the big banks. All our banks are Nigerian engineers' banks. 
that are doing very well, domin dominating the, the banking sector. Uh, we don't want to risk the idea of having international banks like JP Morgan and uh, Bank of America, chain banks and the likes uh, dominating our platform, more or less like what we're seeing in crypto. You know, we're having big boys like Coinbase, Binance, a lot of that coming in. They can pay all of this money. These monies are very small for them. But uh, in contrast to that, what happens to our local platforms? How much what are they charging? How much content? are they charging? What, what can they do? The can local they kind of businesses. Money? How much are they charging local businesses that want to uh, start in, in, up a crypto Initially, the, the, uh, the initial deposit was about uh, about three hundred million, and now it's been raised. Yeah, no, it wasn't captured on the SEC regulation. I think about now, like the whole licensing thing is amounting from what the SEC actually came up as regulation as uh, amendments about uh, one billion, one billion naira, which I, I I really don't think that uh, is favorable for for the the local guys you know how can they make one billion for example it, it, it makes uh, it makes it very very difficult but i i, I think that uh, the nigeria SDC can learn from a couple of countries like singapore and south africa they they, they try to absorb the local guys the okay. local uh exchange platform to do the, 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 the their business you know it helped for us to grow you know, not uh, giving leverage to the big boys that can be able to afford to pay that huge amount of money. But I think uh, there the should be more room for dialogue uh, with the U.S. The, the Nigeria SEC as the way the U.S. SEC is actually engaging platforms okay. that are domiciled in the U.S. You know, so uh, I really don't think it's fair enough for us to have this humongous, except we want just to say that crypto SEC platforms are to be created by just, by just the big boys alone at the end there. Right, because we know the big boys get a lot of volume so they can afford most of those amounts. But we'll keep tracking that. Thank you so much, uh, Rume Ofi. All right, so that, that's uh, that show today. Those, that's how most of these markets we track are looking. We're seeing big pullbacks um, in the crypto market, but uh, traditional assets are still um, looking quite good to start the week. Um, at this time. And remember, you can watch this again on channelcv.com um, to get more updates. I'm Ladi Williams from me and the team right here in Lagos, Nigeria. It's bye for now.